Hey, it's Owen at Happy, and today I'm excited to get to play with a couple of 7th Circle Audio preamps. The SCA N72 and the SCA A12. 7th Circle is a much-loved audio company out of the USA, founded by Tim Ryan around 2001, and one of the very few at the forefront of cloning cool, older pieces, long before the current pylon on all this stuff. The company used to be heavily focused on DIY build your own kits for their proprietary SC2 chassis, and late last year started working on 500 series modules that can be used with ease by everyone. You can still save about 120 US dollars on the preamps I'm about to display today if you fancy doing your own soldering, but you can also get them pre built and tested like these ones today we're about to use. Like I said, 7th Circle are an impressive company in that they've been in the cloning game for a long time, much longer than most clone companies, and they were developed by a computing engineer who was focused on making low-cost preamps that perform incredibly well, avoiding most marketing hype throughout their tenure in the business. Let's jump straight over to the N72. They allude to it on their website without actually saying it, but it's based on a modified version of the Neve 1272 line amp, modified for use as a microphone preamp. Much like Neves, the N72 utilizes Carnhill in and out transformers, the direct descendant of Marinair and Sinaev's transformers. And the switches and knobs are all quality pieces. The units offer up to 70 decibels of gain on a tight feeling stepped pot. And let's take a look at the A12. This is the seventh circle version of the vintage API 312 preamp, which they again allude to with that actually mentioning. Internally, we've got a high quality custom SC25 op amp, very similar to the API 2520 op amp, and a Cinemag input and output transformer. The box also has up to 70 decibels of gain on a quality stepped Greyhill potentiometer. Both of these preamps are transformer based and thus both have character. And across both, you'll hear that this character is very, very similar to what the units are based on. Today, I'm going to put up an SM57 on a snare drum and run it through both of these preamps simultaneously, and you'll hear what these things can do. Then I'll shift the mic over to a guitar amp, and finally to vocals. In the video edit, we'll cycle between the preamps, all match for gain, to truly understand the tone of them all. I'll be making a comparison with an AMS Neve 1073 LB, and for the API, we'll be using a preamp channel from the 2448 desk right here, which is largely based on the API 212L. So no one, no one, no one can get in the way of what I'm feeling. And no one, no one, no one can get in the way of what I feel for you, you, you. Can get in the way of what I feel for you. And there we have it, the SCA N72 and A12 preamps. A pair of high gain preamps based on vintage designs. Both have a slightly different flavor. The N72 feels perhaps a little warmer and rounder, whilst the A12 is maybe a little punchier. Very much what I reckon I'd say when I'm comparing the units that these things are based upon. When stacked up against fairly similar versions of what they're going for, the first thing I noticed was how incredibly similar the 7th Circle stuff is to the Neve and API pieces. Now, 
I know we don't have exact matching versions at the Seventh Circle of cloning here, but we're very much in the same ballpark. And sonically, they are so similar. The Seventh Circle pieces are both solidly built preamplifiers that offer gain, trim, phase flip and phantom power, with the N72 also offering an impedance switch for mic matching and or slightly different tones, much like the corresponding Neve unit. Both units retail for a relative steal compared to the price of the units they're inspired by, and you can make even more of a saving if you're prepared to build them yourself. The 7th Circle SCA N72 retails for $499 US dollars built and $379 US DIY, and the SCA A12 retails for $449 US built and $349 DIY. These are available in all forms from the 7th Circle website and they're in stock right now. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you next time for more audio stuff.